This two-minute tutorial is an introduction to the staff client's modules. The introduction to the staff client introduced how the pull-down menus and marble icons function. To recap, the menu options at the top of the screen are also represented by the colorful circles that we call marbles. When clicking on a marble to expand the bar, numerous icons are visible. These icons are linked to the most common functions of each of the menu options or modules. However, not all of the menu options in the pull-down menu have icons in the marble bar. The first menu option is File. Clicking on New allows you to create new records. This functionality is covered in other two-minute tutorials. This menu allows you to log off and exit instead of using the key icon. The Acquisitions module includes the ability to set up fund codes for the fiscal year so that funds can be tracked as purchase orders are released, funds are encumbered, and invoices are generated and paid. The functions of the drop-down menu options include the ability to create an access selector list, purchase orders, purchase order line items, invoices, and process claims. Invoices options include manual invoices, EDI invoices, and ASN, or Advanced Shipping Notice. Next is the Serials module. The Serials module is well designed to streamline the Serials receipt process in order to speed up the time it takes to check in an issue, create an item record, and print a label. Other functions of the drop-down menu include the ability to create and access serial holdings records, issue records, make a claim for an unreceived issue, manage subscriptions, and create a routing list for serials. Next is the cataloging module. The functions of the cataloging drop-down menu include the ability to create and access bibliographic records, item records, record sets, and promotions. Record sets allows one to create a group of records for the purpose of making bulk changes or creating lists of items. Next is patron services. The functions of the patron services module include the ability to create and access patron records and record sets of these records. The functions of the circulation module include the ability to check in and check out items search for patron status information, and manage the holds and interlibrary loan requests. Last but not least is the utilities module. This module's functions in the drop-down menu include a variety of miscellaneous options that relate to more than one of the other modules. Its most utilized functions include the ability to create reports and notices, import files, and the label manager. This has been a two-minute tutorial on Polaris' staff client modules. If you have any questions, please email help at ccslib.org.